This video is about how to teach Geometric Animal O. The goals of the lesson are to be able to complete a course first with a clue sheet and then with a simple map and to know how to check codes, which you can actually do with the clue sheet by the end. Students will orient the map using landmarks, relate a map checkpoint to the actual checkpoint, build a mental map of the checkpoints and landmarks, use spatial vocabulary to identify checkpoints, respect others' personal space, and cooperate and learn with others. For materials, you'll need 10 traffic cones with animal images taped on, and also the numbers 31 through 40. In addition, we like to have cones that have yellow, green, and red traffic lights representing clear start and finish for a regular orienteering course. For the corners of the space, have four different colored dots or cones, red, yellow, green, and blue. Answer keys, a whiteboard and markers, and then for the students, the five and 10 animal clue sheets and the maps for levels one, three, and five, and the five and 10 checkpoint courses. For setup, set out the cones to match this map, set out the answer keys for the students to refer to, and draw the arrangement of cones on a whiteboard. Start off with a warm up of repeating the animal O that you've done in a previous lesson. Uh, remember, if you have time, you can have them do a course, do it again faster, do it again from memory, and then try a new course. Now, gather the students together so that they can see the cones as they're laid out in the space and also see you. Hold your whiteboard map upside down. Have a conversation about what the different map symbols mean and say there's a problem with the map and ask them if they can figure out what's wrong and guide them towards telling you that it is not oriented correctly and ask them to help you fix it. And you can do that by rotating it until they tell you to stop. Point to a cone on the map and ask what animal is there. And then use spatial vocabulary. You could ask things like which cone is or which animal is closest to the yellow landmark which cone is in between the red and green landmarks, and so on. Now for level one, everyone gets a level one map, and they should go and stand by the circled cone. You can check that they did it correctly, either by walking around and confirming that they're in the right place, or having them check the animal or numerical code that's on the cone, and come back to the answer key and self-check. Move on to levels three and five, those maps have two checkpoints shown on them. The, the first one that they go to is the triangle, and the last one that they go to is the double circle. And they should check that it's correct by remembering the sequence of numbers or animals and then going to your answer key and checking it. Finally, they can do courses. This is a five checkpoint course, and it has it's labeled with the word frog, which means that it corresponds to the frog clue sheet. Pairs of students, one should take the map, the other the clue sheet. The one with the map should navigate and the one with the clue sheet can check that they are going to the correct cones. If there are any pairs that are struggling, have them work with students who understand how to do it. In your discussion, you can ask what was hard and easy, what mistakes they made and how they solved the problems, and have them describe the mental map that they've built up over time of the space and talk about how they worked with each other. There are a number of variations. You can do word bank orienteering, add or skip levels, draw your own map of the cones and make your own courses. For more details, see our um, write-up. Thank you so much for watching. Happy navigating.